Hello, hey, we're on, we're on. I can't believe it's happening. Uh, welcome to Zucchini Boys. The person I was just talking to saying you're just south of me. Omaha's like hundreds of miles away, so totally different weather system. Um, because everywhere in South Dakota got like totally fucked, so at least on this side of the state. So anyways, uh, I don't have a basement where I live, so I was uh, getting ready to do this. Tornado warnings, the, the sirens went off, I had to drive over to my parents' house, got in the basement. Now we're okay, so now I'm here. Hey! You're watching Zucchini Boys on the official WKUK Twitch channel. And, uh, um, I haven't cooked, uh, I haven't done Zucchini Boys in like three months. And, uh, I picked, I want to start last week, but my daughter had an orchestra concert. So then I did this week. And then also what happened this week is I decided to do a rummage sale. I have a big job uh, difference at my work happening. And so I was dealing with that. It, everything's fine. But, uh... And then a fucking tornado happens. So it's just, it's, it's craziness. Crazy. Everything's crazy. Where are all the hell demons in your kitchen? Yeah. This is my first demon free stream in a while. Um, I'm not peeing. That wasn't piss. All right. So, what is first? Tonight we're going to make turkey burgers and uh, sweet potato fries. And I'm gonna make rice a in the Instant Pot, because that's something I fell in love with doing the last few weeks. Uh, rice a classic, cheap-ass meal side, you know? I'm gonna make creamy four cheese rice a But I looked up how to do it. Pressure cooking makes it a little nicer, a little fancier. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and for the sweet potatoes, we're gonna we're going to decide, baked or fried, let's get the mouse pad and the mouse out of the way. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. So everything's a little crazy because I didn't have time to do as much prep as I normally do because I had to get the fuck out of here, go hide in my parents' basement during the tornado warnings. And um, But now everything's fine, so I get to not be there anymore. Came back here. It's really funny. I mean, you, you got to appreciate... You know, God isn't real, but the fact that fate or whatever decided that the first time I finally do the cooking show in the first who knows how many, well, I do, three months, uh, the, the almost, uh, you know, air tries to kill you, you know, so. I'm glad you and your people are safe, Timmy. I'm glad that me and my family are safe. There's certain people here that could use a good being swept away into a, a, a funnel of wind. But, you know, yeah, I'm glad most people are safe. That just means this will take longer and we get more Zucchini Boys. Well, you know, one thing I always yell at is assumptions, and that's a weird assumption to make because I actually structured this one to be easier and shorter since I haven't done it in a while. So, no. I actually started almost right on time. But I'm glad that you like the idea of more Zucchini Boys. And there is going to be more. I Right now, I'm going to start doing it bi-weekly, but I'll probably go back to weekly pretty quickly. So um, It's just that the rest of this month, I probably got to go bi-weekly. All right, so there's one. Let's uh, cut this into fry shapes. You know, oh, I got to get the oven on, too. That. I oh, that's the one shitty thing. That's the real shitty thing. I didn't get to turn the oven on. I normally have the oven heated up before I even start. Um, lots of printed out recipes from mom blogs. 400. That won't take long to get to. Okay. Let's get a... Yeah. Bambo! Do you have a turning red calendar behind you? No. I have a kick-ass uh, squirrel calendar. That's a squirrel smelling an orchid. It's kind of a shiny calendar, so maybe that's why you can't see it. An orchid? Some kind of nice flower. Maybe not an orchid. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing anyways, damn it? How are we doing, god damn it? How's it going, fucking shit? Right? Hold on. Let me see something here. I can't see that. Where do I go for that? Anyways, that's okay. All right. 
Everything sounding okay? Is there a party in your bathroom tonight? No. Dude, I... You guys are lucky I'm on here right now. I, uh, I had to, like, uh, run back. Fucking, like you know, uh, tornado tried to eat me and my upstairs neighbor. He's from the East Coast in Florida, where he spends his time. And so he's used to weather stuff, but this is a little different. Because it's, like, it's fast and dangerous, and then it's over, you know. So it's a little different than the stuff to get up there. Trevor once gave me shit about... You know, oh, hurricanes are worse than tornadoes. I was like, yes, by themselves. But tornadoes, there's always, like, more. And there's more shit going on, too. It's like, you know, the I get lots of weather warnings because I work also in news and weather a little bit. And so I uh, got all the weather warnings. And so you get, like, tornado warnings for multiple. There's, like, five tornado warnings at one point and then several severe thunderstorm warnings. You know, so a lot of shit happens at once. Yeah, but, uh, here we go. How do you feel about people sending you personal cookbooks to your P.O. box, or are you up, or are you too full of books and binders? Well, that's a very nice offer, and let me think about that, because, yes, I have a lot of books and shit. However, one of the things that's making this a very insane week for me is uh, my daughter and I are having a rummage sale. And the idea, <laughs> like, this is how big and nerds my daughter and I are, the main uh idea behind having this rummage sale is so we can buy more books and movies you know what i mean so uh yeah uh i think the uh there's a bot that just lists the p.o boxes when you ask it to but i don't know that much about computer magic rummage you think it's going around all oh, the weather yeah so uh so where i'm at in watertown south dakota we're in like kind of a weird geographical i think it's like a valley kind of or something i forget but anyway so the weather came this big weather system came from the southwest of us so it came up this is north northeast so it came this way and it started heading towards watertown and kind of hit and we still got a lot of dark clouds it's still raining there's still bad weather here but the real bad shit like came just down the outskirts of town and went around and then up past Florence, and then Ortley, and then Wabay, and then it headed right to the, the northeast of us, hit Big Stone City, Millbank, uh, probably Twin Brooks, maybe, uh, some incident over that way, again, but it went that way. So it kind of went around us, you know? Have you started about, st have you thought about starting your own film archive and partnering with someone to make a review show? Uh, just reading that suggestion was more work than I'm willing to put into that idea. Jesus Christ. No, I just don't have... It sounds cool. That'd be a cool thing to do. But, like, you clearly don't have a kid. Uh, and also, like, you know, IFC, the channel we were on, that was, like, three digits to get to it in most cable packages. So, like, I'm not rich. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got to work and shit. So, but, uh... When I'm retired and old and my daughter's off being a famous painter, according to her, uh, yeah, I would love to start a film archive. Why not? You look rabid. Well, you're going to look banned in a second. Fucking be nice. Um, yeah, well, I had to run back through a tornado to still start pretty much on time. You know? I'm rich in spirit, though. Thank you. I feel that, too. Rich in, f in friends and family, you know? For sure. Treat it like a 24-7 TV channel. Mythic, do you think we don't? I mean, we stream as much as we can. Uh, anyways. Okay, so there's some fries. I'll probably make more, but I don't need to make a lot because I'm just going to eat them myself. And kind of see what we get. I'm going to put that away for now, actually. We probably don't need it yet. Okay. So, so we're going to fry. What we're doing, if you don't know, making turkey burgers, but also going to do... I should warm up the grill for that. Having a little electric grill I'll be using. Uh, we're going to be tur uh, turkey burgers, but also... Um, uh, fried and baked sweet potatoes. We're going to find out which is better. And I think it's going to be a tough race. I don't think... You know, people jump to say fried tastes better, which, you know, is often true, but sweet potatoes, 
They kind of, uh, sweet potatoes don't need anything, really. They don't fucking need you. They don't need me. They don't need no friends. They just taste good all by themselves. And, uh, so there's not necessarily a necessary, needed, necessarily need of necessity to necessarily need the necessity of necessarily needing to necessarily fry them, you know, bake them. You can bake them. It's fine. So uh, we'll see what happens. So this is a little electric grill that I just uh, um, prepared. I'll be putting cooking the turkey burgers on that. My mom got me that at a rummage sale years ago, and it works great. Um, Pour a little water in there. I might cover the burgers too, but they can cook fine without it. So, um, actually, let's move this so I can more easily control the situation. Oh, yeah. So, there's camera two. Hell yeah. That's going to be fucking burger cam, although I might want some more light on it, or is it light enough? Is it light enough? What do y'all think? Huh? Timmy, look out. <laughs> there's a grill heading towards my head. Raiders? Oh, there's a raider? Who's who's raiding us? Oh, two, a bunch of people raided. Who, who just raided? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Boil? I don't know what that means. Okay. I didn't see the raid. Who raided us? Anyways, thank you for raiding. How how you doing, raiders? Welcome to Zucchini Boys, the first one in a while. Almost got canceled by fucking God because of uh, tornadoes. But uh, the warning left my area soon enough for me to get home, and I started generally on time. So there we go. All right, so we want to get the baked ones ready first because it'll take longer. So... Three eighths inch wide sticks. These are probably bigger than that. I don't know. Where's my? Oh, that's even shorter then. Okay, good. So they'll cook maybe a little faster. All right. Okay. Stir together the salt, pepper, and cornstarch. All right. How much of that stuff do we need? Well. Cool ass knife from Cutler. Uh, AOA knife works can go away. All right, so three tablespoons cornstarch, half teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon pepper. Okay. Salt. Donde esta? God, I forgot the Spanish word for pepper. Anyways. And then the cornstarch is right here. I fucking hate cornstarch. It always be good. Clap a girl. Isn't that a, like, yeah, it's kind of something. I ain't no clap a back girl. Right? Okay, how much do I need here? I need. The speeches are recital. I think it's very vital to make sweet potato pies. Here we go. Okay. Donde esta la biblioteca? Can you do a good Swedish accent since you're from South Dakota? No. Uh, good uh, point that there is a good amount of uh, Swedish, Norwegian, what's that, Scandinavian kind of stuff going on here, but uh, you don't do a good Swedish accent. That's probably about as good as you get. There, I don't even know how many Swedish people with accents are here. It's all descended towards a bunch of fucking white people. You know? That's really all it is. So, uh, yeah, we did, uh, maybe 15, 20 years ago, get a large influx of South Africans. Uh, so they have, like, what, a Dutch accent, sort of, right? God, cornstarch just gets fucking everywhere. Okay, so, three tablespoons. Okay, stir together the salt, pepper, and cornstarch. Okay. This is a piggy-shaped tablespoon. Very cute. Daughter, my daughter picked it out, but I use it. All 
Okay, and then I think that cornstarch has to get used for the fried ones too. So. Okay. Stir that stuff together, it say. Eh, I'm not gonna do a fork style, we're gonna do a spatula. Where's the good one? That one's good. Ugh, fucking cornstarch, man. Six seasons in a movie. Yo, we got the movie, we got the five seasons. Let's just fucking calm down. Well, we'll be two movies when Mars comes out, because we already have Civil War on Drugs. <sighs> so, oh, I don't need to make this much, because I'm only doing like a, a small portion of the batch. Fucking goddamn shit. That's okay. All right. Dredge. Dredge the fries in the salt, pepper, and cornstarch until coated. You got it. You want me to dredge? We gonna dredge. So let's just do about... So what I'm gonna do is... Move this for now. Actually, actually... Let's see here. Yeah. Move the grill a little bit out of the way. Move camera tool a little bit over this way. Come here, baby. There we go. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay. Sheet pan lined with foil and cook. You know, I don't. Okay, if you're ever gonna write a recipe, here's a little tip from someone that uses a lot of recipes. Fucking. Put the stuff you're going to, not just the ingredients at the start of the recipe. Obviously, you want the ingredients, but also do put, like, the gear. You know, because if I misread that or, or missed that line, I would not have, obviously, I knew these would be in a baking pan because you're baking them, but I would not have known that they needed foil and to be sprayed, you know. And you don't, yes, of course, you should always read directions for anything carefully, especially when there's heat and the possibility of foodborne illnesses involved, but... You know, the person writing the goddamn thing should just put it at the top, you know? You need so many sweet potatoes, salt, pepper, cornstarch, baking pan of foil, you know, fucking do your goddamn job making the free recipe for me. Whatever. How's everybody doing? How are we all doing? The three-year Beetlejuice bit still hasn't been topped. I don't know what that means. Okay. There's a lot going on in the chat that I'm not privy, privy to. Okay. Oh, toss the fries with olive oil. Where the fuck did we talk about olive oil? Oh. You did say that. Okay. See? Look, I missed it. Because they fucking don't write this very well. So. Okay, we'll use a second pan for that. Or bowl. This one will work. Right. I'm just gonna do it. Calls for four tablespoons, but since I'm doing a, a much smaller amount, let's put one tablespoon of olive oil in there. Yeah. Food bill. Barb's still hiding from the tornado. Barb died, and my neighbor Rob, who's a real person, lives upstairs. So that's why Barb's not around anymore. Right, Barb. Right, Barb. Big ups to you, Barb! No implicate. It's not. Okay. Uh, let's dredge. Ready? Who wants to dredge? Dredge. Oh! Fucking cornstarch. Alright, that looks pretty well dredged already. We want to. Half these uh, we're going to use for frying, so. Okay. So then we're going to throw them in the... Where did I put the fucking olive oil bowl? I am so stupid. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so dredge them in here. Oh, it's supposed to... Was I supposed to wash them? Wash and peel. No, okay. Whatever, it's fine. All right. So this. Dredge these motherfuckers. Dredge them up. So, okay, I'm going to make the uh, sweet potato fries and uh, turkey burgers. 
but also then I'll be making dips. That's why it says dips in gigantic fucking letters right there. So, all right, so now I am swishing the, tossing rather, whatever you want to call it, the uh, sweet potatoes in olive oil. And they might need a little bit more. Maybe I did get a little bit more than a fourth of the recipe. Maybe I'm closer to a third or a half. So I'm gonna put a little more olive oil in there. Just a smooge. Toss this shit. Yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, so. Get them all spaced out. Oh, let's turn the delicious cam. Yeah, all right, cool. So, get all that spaced out. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Make that gargayoli dip. Sriracha mayonnaise dip, we dip. What's the other mustard? Maybe you dip, we dip. Gonna be fucking good. All right. I'm only doing a slight amount of OCD here, but that's fine. Okay, so there's that. Bake the fries for 15 minutes at 400 degrees or until golden. Okay, these shits going in the oven. Oh my back. Okay. Fifteen. Okay, now how do we prepare the fried ones, huh? Uh, oh, I was supposed to... No, no, these are the fried ones. Rinse the sweet potatoes in cold water twice. Discard the water between each rinse. I was supposed to boil the fries. Fuck, I didn't see... She didn't mention that at all. It's like nothing about needing to boil water until you get to the directions. You know... Yeah, I do like to try and read the directions before I start, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes there's a fucking tornado. So, Linda, or whatever, put, uh, you know, put the directions in the fucking, put the, uh, like, the equipment you need in the beginning, too. Come on! And by the way, this, uh, recipe, it seems like a good recipe, but the, the, bake, the website is called, like, Dinner at the Zoo, and I fucking hate that attitude. I hate it when people are like, they have a couple kids, it's a zoo! It's like, you know what, I'm the oldest of six. Yeah, it was a zoo sometimes, but like, I don't like uh, when people go into the mentality like, having children is crazy. It's like, do you like this? Because I like being a parent. Why, you know, like, give them the attitude like, hey, it drives me nuts. It's like, yeah, it does drive me nuts sometimes, but I, I don't like, I don't like when people make their whole like fucking personality that they wish they didn't have kids. <laughs> You know? But at least we're in a country where it's forced upon people. Anyways, uh... Alright. Alright, cool. So, uh... I guess I'm already done with this corn starch. So. Yeah, that extra cam does look like jail surveillance. I don't know what the fucking color scheme is there. And I haven't... I wanted to try and find software that'll let me fucking, uh, you know, mess with it. Because this camera, the main camera, I've got uh, software, you know. Uh, but uh, not on this one. I'm going to turn it off for now because I don't think I need it yet. Um, okay, so boiling that water. Oh, they want me to rinse the fries. All right, so we're going to rinse these in cold water twice. I mean, look, I have faith that this is going to be good, but these are some the some of the directions are strange. Get some presets. Yo, that's that's what I'm talking about. Like that's literally what I said. What do you think software means? But if I don't I know he just said that, but if I don't say something, how will everyone know that I know what I'm talking about? Ooh, that was loud, sorry. 
Okay, um, I think I might start getting the turkey burgers ready too. Because these aren't. Okay, two thirds cup of cornstarch with an equal amount of water in a bowl. God, I hate cornstarch. It's going to get messy. Water and headphones, real nice. You like that? We kind of uh, ASM, ADSM, uh, ASM 12, SM, Myers, Force. Well, Wheel of Money, we're going to follow fucking dinner at the zoo's instructions. I think it's more to help the uh, batter get in there, you know? You know, I like this recipe because it helps me use up the cornstarch. Fuck you, cornstarch. Fucking silky, powdery, carpet ruining motherfucker. I need this thing. I need one of these things. Oh, let's turn the... How about a whisk cam? We got a whisk cam? Yes, whoever said it looks like prison security. What I should do is I should add some fucking, like, numbers in the corner of it. It's, you know what I mean? It's say, like... Convict 49254. Yeah, it is a nice thickener, but it gets everywhere. It can fucking suck my butt. Pluto TV, uh, that's the one that Sam and Nate are always talking about, right? Okay, what am I supposed to season this with? Two teaspoons of salt and three-fourths teaspoon of pepper. Did I put the pepper back? I'm stupid. I ain't no pepper back, boy! I guess that's the random-ass song stuck in my head tonight. Do-do-do-do-do, do butt stuff in your pussy. ba bum bum boom bum butt stuff in your pussy. Oh, and once again, I'm making the full amount of batter, even though I'm not making the full amount of fried potatoes. Fucking moron. Oh, well. Unofficial not sponsored by... What, what can we be unofficial not sponsored by? Here on Z Zucchini Boys. Crossover episode. We did a crossover episode. Oh, you mean crossover episode of Sassy Dad Gay Boys and Zucchini Boys. Yes. Do, 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 but stuff in your pussy. In Betweeners, is that a British show? I don't watch British television because I'm a fucking patriot. Oh, this is supposed to go here. Here we go. Yeah. Little Debbie's. Dude, Little Debbie's would be a great sponsor. Especially during cookie month. Oh, that seems pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay. So once that starts boiling, then we can... What in the fuck? Oh, yeah, okay. Once that starts boiling, we'll do the... Uh, get the... We'll return to the potato project. I actually need to rinse them again according to the thing. It's funny, she says rinse them in water and, and uh, discard the water each time it's like, uh, I have a colander. It's got holes in it. The water just goes through the, the holes. All right, so it's time for me to make the, the turkey burger patties. And there's going to be a lot of fucking opinions in the chat that I don't care about about being safe with food handling and shit because guess what i generally know what i'm doing so shut up and there's also gonna be a lot of opinions about how i'm sure people say will want to say ghetto or 
some other slightly racist bullshit about how I'm going to make these because I go with a very old school version of making burgers that sometimes gets attributed to poor people and, and whatnot. So, uh, um, but it's, it's what I like. It's what tastes good. Exactly. Do what works, you know? So, fuck em. Am I using peanut butter lid? No, 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 no. Although that's a great idea. No, I form with my hands. That's at least the hipster part of me, you know? Poor people make burgers differently? Yeah. If you ask fucking rich people. It's not because of what's... It's not because of the meat or anything. It's because... I'm going to put this in there. Fucking breadcrumbs. And I'm going to put this in there. French onion soup mix. And it makes it taste real good! And what do I do? A fourth cup of that. All right. Where'd my quarter cup go, Barb? Barb, bring my quarter cup. Bip, 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 bip. But this is attributed to, like, you know, I don't know, poverty for some reason. I don't even know. Crackers, crackers could work too. I do. Uh, so what I do is I do a quarter cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, and then a half of a, a packet of Lipton Recipe Secrets French onion salt mix. Yeah, whoever was asking me to do the Swedish accent, no, it's we've been uh, people have been in this area long enough where it kind of got mixed into its own thing. So we have the the Minnesota accent, and it's not just Minnesota; it's all over the Midwest, Northern Plains is what I call it around here, is the Northern Plains accent. And because we're not just the Great Plains, you're not just the Midwest, we're a little further north. So, you know, when people are in like Southern Nebraska or Missouri, uh, they don't fucking deal with the same kind of shit we deal with. So it is sort of a different region. And I call it the Northern Plains. And that's kind of the accent that I'm doing. Uh, if anyone has played Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, the lady that sells the soda has a great Northern Plains accent for no reason. You just have to save up for some breadcrumbs, right? A uh, great way to make your own breadcrumbs, toast a piece of toast, uh, kind of on the harder side, and put it in the blender. Like, cut it into strips, put it in the blender. Yeah, the fizzy place. Izzy's fizzy's. Izzy. There you go. A Canadian Southerner accent. <laughs> yeah, so... So they call us rednecks, which they probably do anyways, for a lot of other reasons. Oh, I forgot one other thing I put in there. Okay, removing the glove to touch other things. I also pour a little bit of the old Worcestershire sauce. No egg? No egg. I think a tablespoon, but we're just kind of kind of wing it. And I'll put some salt and pepper in there, or maybe some garlic powder, kind of whatever the hell I want, you know. And I suppose I should get out my walker. Uh, it's kind of a walk. I deep, it works well for a deep fat fryer. Get that out. Okay. Oh, welcome back to meat massaging, boys. Oh, I could put a light on here. That would decrease the prison effect. But whatever. You make your burgers the same way? Alright, cool. Yeah, and maybe, it's just that my brother who, I have a brother who's a chef. So when I told him that, he's like, what do you live with the projects? I'm like, no. I just like this. Shut the fuck up. Steve. His name is not Steve. No, putting in an egg is not weird. Uh, no, that's a pretty normal burger ingredient, as far as I know. Um, just not something I'm doing right now. Um, I normally, because I've been, you know, I'm forever tr watching my calories and stuff. I'm trying to lose weight. It's been a two-year process that has gone fucking nowhere. But I'm starting to finally make progress on it. And I do normally measure these, but those look even to me. So, we're going to call those even. Even! Fucking even! See, I just called them even. I'm gonna go wash my hands. You guys watch the burger balls. I'm still here. I'm still here. 
It's kind of nice out now. Alright, the water's boiling. Hell yeah. Wow, there's so many directions here I was not paying attention to. Okay. She did put way too many fucking directions in here, slyly, but... <coughs> At this point, it'd be a little dumb for me to pretend it's all her fault and not mine. So, it said we need an ice bath. Oh, my mom's a sneaky devil. Holy shit. She shouldn't have let me see that. Maybe she didn't know I was going into the freezer. Look at this. Then I found that freezer. My mom was here with my daughter getting ready for the rummage sale in the freezer. Butterfingers. Frozen candy bars? Fuck yeah. So I hope she wasn't planning on us still being there. <laughs> More than the next few few little bits. Okay. Okay, so first we want them to boil for a few minutes. I'm gonna need my tongs quite a bit. Um uh, we need another timer going. I need the hot glove. Hot glove, hot glove, hot glove. All right, let's get the uh, meat cam. It's now going to become an oven cam. Oh, do we have enough room? Yeah, I just have it fucking tied up here. There we go. Get out of the way. Oh, is that my dad? Oh, I didn't leave the fucking door open for him. Shit, I got to go. I'll be right back. You got in. How'd you get in? It was unlocked. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Or I guess not sorry since I did what I was supposed to do. My dad's here, everybody. Be chill. Okay. Bye. You don't want to put your face on camera and have people do deep fakes of you being super probably liberal? Be, huh? You'll probably lose your audience. They already look doing? at me all the time. Making, uh, turkey burgers? This is my father. Look at him. Yo, no one's ever seen you before. At least not these people. Hmm. You know? Well, they're lucky. No, come on. <laughs> He's a cool looking guy. Come on! So what are we selling you? You, uh, you brought to the rummage sale Coca-Cola collectibles. Yeah, Coca-Cola collectibles. Send your die grandpa! Die-cast die uh, trucks. Die-cast trucks. That are, you know, old but never been out of the box. Cool stuff. Yeah. Look at all these people talking to you. I know, man. I miss a lot of it. Some of it's dirty. Oh. They're saying, your Don't dad is awful. Oh, no, that says, oh, hi, dad. Oh, like I'm an old man. You better watch out. They're going to say weird stuff. Some of these people right. say weird things. I'll have to read it then. Uh, hi, Timmy's dad. Have a nice day every day. Hi, Mr. Williams. No, that was my dad. <laughs> Hello, Tim's father. Hope you're doing well. Timmy's dad has a Han Solo smile. What does that mean? That's probably a compliment. I would hope. Everybody he's loves a, Han Solo. Yeah, he's a handsome dog. Here's some food. I live in Minnesota yeah. and had a bad storm in South Dakota. Yes, we did. 85 mile an hour winds in our town. That's how we got? That's yep. how much we had? 102 oh. in a town about 60 miles northeast of here. Which town? Sisseton? I think Sisseton at 102. Oh. Damn. And a house out by the casino here got totaled out. Seriously? Yep. Damn, I hope I didn't insure him. And, okay. This. I mean, that's too bad, those poor people. Yeah, that's better. No, <laughs> oh, wait. Uh-oh, someone's insulting you, Timmy. They said you look like your pops. Hey, yeah, we do look similar. Yo, uh, Mom will never come on camera because she hates cameras, but I look <laughs> way more like my mother. Yeah. He, he does. Oh, poor, shit, I did poor the wrong woman. thing. Okay. Poor woman, come on. Special guest. Is that a... Yeah, okay, I don't read that one. Like your See, that's the problem. What'd you read? Yeah, they said, like, Zaddy like son, major babe alert. 
Does your dad know this is your feet cam? I do have a foot cam. Actually, it is on my feet right now. It wasn't supposed to be. A okay, feet so, cam. Yeah. You know, there's certain uh, websites that where people pay money yeah, yeah, uh, to look at feet. It's a foot turn on thing. A foot fetish. Timmy's dad, your son, and the rest of it because you gave me a lot of laughs in college. Oh. Thank you for your son. I'm now successful in the medical world. Well, good. So is really? another one of my sons. Yeah, Timmy, I'm like low on the total pool as far as successful sons for him. Timmy, your dad reading my comment made by night. Timmy's dad is cool. Oh, yes, I sure See, you am. got these people wrapped around Played golf finger. today. He played golf. Well, tell them. My he day. He played golf and he, yeah, tell them about your I day. I play about three hours of snooker at the old folks senior center. Snooker, snooker is a pool game. If, snooker's pool for people who are alive when JFK got assassinated. <laughs> And it's British, right? Yeah, look it up on YouTube and you'll see some amazing Actually, thing. Actually, uh, comedy fans, Bill Hicks has a great bit about snooker, too. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, played for about three hours today and then uh, took my lovely wife, Tim's lovely mother, to lunch and then I went golfing. And then he summoned a tornado. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There's so many directions. Okay. okay. I, uh, I gotta little... go. Have Bye, fun. Dude. Thank you, Dad. See y'all. Yo, you just made this episode. Now I could just fuck up now. It doesn't matter. I'm sure you will. Hey! Ooh. God! Where's the, uh... Place them in the ice bath. Okay. Yo, what? there's my dad, Tom. We get real creative with the names out here. <laughs> Ice bath on these girls. Okay. We're going to get ready here. Okay, so next up, I might do... Maybe I should do cold water, too. Let's do it. Okay, so I have the, uh, they look like carrot sticks now, but the uh, sweet potatoes in an ice bath. And I'm going to start warming up the oil. Well, not quite yet. I want to get the burgers cooking. Then I want to get some paper towels. Just use the rest of this vegetable oil, that's fine. For frying, okay. Oh, yeah. Whenever I fry some of vegetable oil, there's always people with stupid opinions. Like, oh, my God, what are you doing? It's like, I'm just frying them. Shut the fuck up. It's fine. You know? We've met a lot of your daddies, but never your real dad. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for not telling him about my secret cadre of leather daddies that are always on the show. Um, okay. Where's the batter at? Okay. Oh, it separated a little bit. Oh, and a sludge. This poor little chef lady. It's getting, <laughs> See, now you guys are saying this stuff about some of my dad's uh, attributes that I thought you'd say when he was here. Do I always eat dinner this late? No. I'm normally donezo with dinner by now for sure but i also can't do zucchini boys too early either because i used to rush home from my job to do zucchini boys and i was a fucking prick because i was all hungry and stressed out from work like my job gets so stressful that i have to like do nothing for a little bit afterwards it's just like because people you know it's like i know it sounds like it's just insurance but the amount of things that people think the people need right at the end of the day, and then they all think you're McDonald's and can do it in like four seconds, and it's fucking a nightmare sometimes. Okay, so um, let's get the hot grill back out. Oh yeah, and um, maybe I'm just gonna, you know what? Let's try a different. Fuck it. Let's. I'm gonna mush the patties now that doesn't seem like a good idea I don't know how should I do this I got an idea here I'm gonna put it on here 
I can hear the electricity jolting through this grill just like cavemen used to do when they made food. This is fine. It looks like a peanut butter cookie. Don't eat it. Okay. I'm actually only going to cook one right now. I guess eh, I could cook the rest and just save them and zap them later. Oh yeah, and I'll get it flatter than that. For sure. Tom Williams only fans. You guys are fucking sickos. I'll do two for now. Okay, now, who's aware of the band Daft Punk? Everybody, I assume, they're rather popular. Daft Punk has a song called Harder, Stronger, Better, Faster. Harder, Stronger, Better, Faster. Our work is never over. Our work is never over, never over. Right? So, many of you may know that uh, I had a friend named Trevor, who has since moved into a different plane of existence, and called death and that's Zach's favorite band um i bet that it's not uh trevor used to love to sing random fucking he used to like love doing like really random uh parodies of things and he did one one time we were just walking somewhere or whatever and, you know, oh, it was when Kanye West put out that song that had the Daft Punk Faster, uh, Harder, Faster, Better, Stronger in it, right? And so you were hearing that song everywhere. And so he started putting his own lyrics to the tune, big, and he was saying, Bacon, chatter, turkey, burger, bacon, chatter, turkey, burger. So, um... That's in my head all the time, because he did that. Bacon, chatter, turkey, burger. Bacon, chatter, turkey, burger. So that's what I'm going to do, is make a bacon, cheddar turkey, burger. And I was just, how this all came about, is I was trying to think of what to do for Zucchini Boys, and at the same time I was telling my daughter, we talked about Trevor, because she never met him in person, but met him on Zoom calls and stuff. She would often, before Self Suck Saturday, would hang out with the dudes and talk to them, and she loved them. And... They loved her, I think. She's pretty charming. Anyways, uh, so we were talking about him, and I started singing Bacon Cheddar, Turkey Burger, and she loves that, and she loves Daft Punk, so she started singing that. And then we were like, I want a Bacon Cheddar Turkey Burger. <laughs> so we got the ingredients for it, and then it was like, hey, that would be a fun, easy thing to make, and then also it's a little Trevor story, and, you know. We can all get sad and shit, you know, so, um, yeah, so I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I'm making them. Um, so I'm just gonna microwave the bacon, because we're just being fucking lazy about everything, and, um, about 55 seconds is what I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna do it yet, I'm gonna wait till the burger's closer, and this isn't beef, this is poultry, so you can't, like, uh, yeah, it can't be pink in the middle. You gotta cook it all the way. Oh, yeah, get tricked. Not trichinosis. What's the one? Salmonella. So. They do look like cookies a little bit. Yeah. Um, I also put the bun in the toaster, which is way back here. I didn't bring the toaster out. There's no toaster cam because I'm fucking low budget. But then I'm going to toast, and when I get a little closer to business time, I'm going to toast the bun for like, eh, well, whatever. I don't know the time. I don't know why I said that. You hit the thing down, and that pops up. But it's on two is the setting. It's not very much toast. It's not very toasty. There's ice on the floor. Bye. Um, and then I'm going to put uh, cheddar on it, too, for bacon, cheddar, turkey, burger, and lettuce. And I like to do mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard on my burger, which I'm sure someone considers a crime. Burger toppings is one of those things people get upset about, right? In the meantime, let us, uh, and you know what? I do want to put a lid over that. Oh. 
Yes, I did hear that go off. We'll see about those. And I'm not going to be ready to eat those sweet potato fries yet, so I'm probably going to keep them on warm. Okay, let's smush the burgers down a little bit. turn off cam two for a second wow i'm so glad my dad is here when he said he was going to be stopping over i was like i wonder if i can get him on camera and then of course i think he's going to be against it but you know uh showmanship and being entertaining and public speaking runs in my family and my father definitely yeah, he sang in a barbershop quartet once, I think or was in a no what did he do he was in a musical he did some acting and stuff as a kid it used to be on the radio a little bit, too, years ago. So, uh, you know, here's these. They look pretty good. Let's see, these are the baked sweet potato fries. Let me see here. Top with parsley if desired. I did buy parsley, but, huh. So I'm going to just uh, leave them out for a second. Get the oven down to cool, or to uh, just like to 200. It actually is going to turn it off for a while, and then turn it back on to 200 a little bit. Okay, so I really want to get the fried ones going here. No. What I'm going to do... I should get some dip going. I'm going to make some... Eh, I don't know. Fuck it. I gotta cut up garlic. I didn't quite think of the order here. Um, how are these looking? They're yeah, looking alright. Okay. Drop the fries in the batter and let them rest for two minutes on paper towels. You know what? Hold on. Because I didn't dredge this up enough. But. Yeah, maybe it's too watery now. I don't know. Let them rest in there for two minutes? All right. Here, this is what I should have done. Okay. Let's start warming this up. Okay, I gotta. Yeah, that's not quite in there, is it? Oh, we don't have enough oil. Yeah, we just stand it in the middle, right? Doesn't that work? Mm -hmm. I think I'll just have to kind of let it. Yeah, yeah that'll work ish. Okay, so. So, what do you do? You. Dip the fries in the batter and let them rest for two minutes. Okay, well, these ones were watery and not, they're probably not going to be that great, but there we go. Need to get the rest of the fucking. We'll give them a second dip in there, probably. Boner Hot Farts, have you ever said something is not a joke? I mean, you've said a few things there. Anyone in chat enjoy Moon Knight? I did. I didn't like that the... I didn't, wasn't super into the ending. Because I like the traditional let's keep the story going of comic books, which isn't quite what the movie did, not to spoil it. Or the show, I mean. Uh, really liked Doctor Strange too. I thought that was really great. I loved it. Had a good time! Um... Start making some of this dip. But we're gonna do like smaller amounts. Because I I'm only just one me I'm just me today, so I don't need a whole bunch of fucking dip. Alright, let's go to Burger King though real quick. Okay, so the baked sweet potato fries are done looking but I am going to put them in 
They're not crispy. Eh, they're kind of crispy. I might, uh, yeah, I'm going to throw them in there. Ah, see it? They're not quite... Let's do this. Maybe this will help. Come on, get off there. Ah, see? I should have maybe... Ah, fuck. It's falling apart. I should have greased up the grill a little bit. Oh, those are fucking terrible, but that's okay. <laughs> Still tastes good. And it takes a while to cook these motherfuckers, too. You know, because like I said, you can't... Ah! See, they're not... I maybe needed more of a binding agent. This is me knowing I need to do Zucchini Boys, but not, like, really having a great idea. Whatever. They still taste good, so eat my butt. Okay. The other ones can get out of here. They're just going to go in the fridge in a little bit. Out of my fucking face. All right. Hot. That is hot. Here's what the uh, sweet potato, the baked ones, look like. I'm going to put those back in the oven and just set it to 200. But it's still hotter than that in there right now, so it'll probably crisp them up a little more, which I would not be too sad about. Ugh. Is this going? It is going up. All right, so... I guess I'll do the I'll do the dip in a little bit. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um, heat a pot of vegetable oil to 350 degrees. Okay. We're gonna redredge these ones. Let's turn this this way instead of at the dirty oven. Yeah, that works. All right. Ah, man. Come on. There we go. Maybe I need to put a little bit more cornstarch in here. Motherfucking cornstarch. Just a little bit. Oh, that was a lot. Whatever. Okay. Cradle of Filth and Danzig are on tour together. Wow. Uh, I kind of maybe should have made the dips first. I don't know. That's probably what I should do next time. Or whatever. <laughs> if there's a next time. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, well, there they are. I feel like they're not really absorbing. I don't know how battered they really are. But, uh, you know, there they are. But, I mean, it's not like you need them to be, you know, they're not going to be like french fries. They're going to be... God, oh, I just dropped so many on the floor. Fucking moron. Working too fast, not giving yourself enough workspace. These, these are real things. You know, sometimes you watch a cooking show and the person tells you all this stuff not to do. Well, I show you what not to do. And then occasionally what to do. Also, sometimes I show you my dad, I guess. All right, so that's probably getting close to where we want it. I'm starting to see some smoke coming from the grill. Sizzles. It's getting hot. Get pretty hot. We're going to... When I use the Instant Pot, I'm not going to put it by the fiery oil. That's probably asking for trouble. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so what I'm doing over here is I... I'm securing a tablespoon of butter and I'm going to throw it in the Instant Pot. In a little bit I'm going to turn it, uh, you gotta get it melted. Let's start doing that. Okay, I'm going to start throwing these bitches in the fryer. Which I can't get the, I can't get the camera all the way over there. Yeah, let's see.
Oh, that had that touch fucking raw meat. You were so hangry before? No baseball. Thank God for Zook Boys. Hey, glad to provide an escape from not getting to watch baseball. Fuck that shit. Not getting to watch things. God damn it. Okay, this is gonna be crazy. Who's ready? Well, hold on. I'm not a fucking moron. I'm a little bit of a moron. Okay, these sweet potatoes also fell apart. I think I boiled them too long. Whatever. I'm thinking baked is gonna win out just from I feel like they were made better, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna take the thermometer out of there. Dude, I am now at. I'm on, I'm streaming. Okay. Okay. How long am I supposed to fry for? Anybody know? This lady says cook the fries. Cook the fries for five to seven minutes. All right. What if these turn out good? What if all this me making fun of fucking dinner at the zoo was well, mean, just mean. I mean, it is mean. I'm being mean. You know. Um, okay, so burgers. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm fucking everything up, but I think the burgers are gonna be fine. I think I can see onion chunks from the dried onion soup. Oh, I'm just ripping the top off of them now. Fucking whatever. They are looking all right. And you better believe this whole idea of really, I mean, yes, bacon, cheddar, turkey, burger, we love Trevor. Uh, also, though, I get on to use up this turkey. <laughs> yeah? Hey, hey, hey. All right, I'm allowing myself about a half ounce of cheddar, which is more than you think, so don't worry. I'll get my cheese. And I think it's time to toast the buns. I'm also going to start sauteing. The butter. Wait, you know what? I don't think I'm, you know what? We're not going to do that. I'm not going to do the rice or anything tonight. There's too much going on already. I'm not going to worry about it. I also need to include it in my calorie allotment. We're not going to worry about the rice or uh, It's a funny thing. It's mostly just funny. It is nice how uh, good it turns out. But I'll do it another time. Put it on the back burner, so to speak. I still gotta want, I want to make all this dip, you know? I'm just gonna cut cheese with a fucking knife like a fucking caveman. I have multiple cheese cutting instruments. What do I reach for? Just a knife. Now I'm just gonna cut off little chunks and get it to about a half ounce. And then just put that right on top of the burgers. Perfect. 0.49. We'll take it. And actually, I'm only eating one burger, and I'm gonna eat the most fucked up looking one. So. So we'll do. Put the cheese on that. How are these girls looking? Oh, okay. All right. So. Shake, take a dip while you make your dip. No, I'm disgusting and sweaty. Yes. But I'll do that afterwards. I still gotta make dips. Yeah, I have, so someone says I love cooking, I've been too lazy lately. Me too, you know, uh, Trevor put a big hole in my brain and then some other stuff did and I just, uh, the, the cooking slowly went down. But you know what, I also brought it back in like a slow incline, which is cool, like, there was a lot of just fast food and not cooking and then started, I got a, I happened upon this, a really great brand of frozen pizza called Screaming Sicilian, and 
So uh, they were on sale at a grocery store here, so I bought a bunch of those. And then I was eating more frozen food. And then I was like, I was like getting a lot of, I love buffalo chicken bites, right? So I was doing frozen buffalo chicken bites of all sorts. And I, uh, then I was like, a couple weeks ago, I was like, I am going to make buffalo chicken or buffalo uh, sauce, uh, buffalo sauce, cauliflower. So I did that. It was great. And then just kind of slowly started going back into cooking. So this is me starting to cook more again. And I think next week I'm going to finally fucking make pizza. What do you all think? Oh, Scream Sicilian has good feta pizza? Well, their, their holy pepperoni or whatever the hell they call it is fucking delicious. And what's the other kind? We got a Hawaiian pizza because I'm not one of those weirdos that thinks it's a big deal to put pineapple on pizza. Because, spoilers, it's not. Eh, here we go. And, um, yeah. So, uh, it's good stuff. Fucking ketchup juice. It's the grossest. Yeah, there has been a lot of Timmy time lately. That's the other thing is... You know, we're, we are finishing up, uh, trying to finish up funding for the movie. And uh, the movie's, like, getting made. It's, it's happening. It's a, getting animated. It's a fucking movie. But, uh, you know, you gotta spend money to not even make money, in this case. Spending money just to get it out there. Uh, so, you know, we, we festival, uh, festival submission fees is one thing. Um... And then some, uh, you know, publicity, stuff like that. So we're still raising some money. So, you know, when you subscribe and stuff, that all goes towards us. You can also hit the donation button. If you can't find it on here, sometimes people can't find it. Uh, it's, I think there's a pretty easy link to it on our Reddit page, you know? So, um, I don't have a good meat thermometer, so I'm just going to open up one of these turkey patties in a moment and see if it's good. All right, so... Mayonnaise, spice, or mustard, maple syrup in a small bowl. Okay. Alright, so let's, uh, there's some smoke coming out of this. Oh, God, I think these are done. I think they're fucking murdered, but they're done. Okay. Where did I put the, I had paper towels ready. Oh, my God. Also, uh, I forgot about the, uh, Bacon, so now we're gonna cook the bacon. This is when you start playing. I don't know, is that spinning plates song? Is that uh, duty free? Can I, can I just play it? <laughs> That's how you get duty free. Just horribly. Scream whistle it? What was I doing? I don't even know. Alright, uh, I don't know if I fried these long enough. I think I got the oil hot enough and then turned the heat down a little too much, but um, I'm enjoying what these look like, so fine. Here are the fried sweet potato fries. Remember Domino, the rapper from the 90s? I'm all messed up and I don't know why. To be on that sweet potato pie. Okay. Well, I'm going to put these babes uh, in here too. Just on the plate, not with the paper towel, although it's probably not hot enough in there anymore to hurt the paper towel, but I still don't want smoke or fire. Okay, I'll we'll just throw those in there too. Keep them warm so I can make dip and eat burgers. The oil I will get rid of uh, safely, probably. Definitely will just pour it into my mouth later. Okay. What if I did that? What if I just took burning oil? Just, ah! I know that it seems crazy over here. I think it's actually going okay, especially considering I rushed over here in a deadly storm to show you people me making what's probably not going to be a very good turkey burger. You know? 
I want to bring up an important subject, though. Uh, somebody on Instagram said, like, Timmy, how dare you, you know, something about, like, you know, you should, uh, you can afford to, you, to get, uh, you know, something, something, you're too thoughtful to be eating meat or something like that. First of all, you don't know how thoughtful I am. I'm a fucking moron. Secondly, um, I've done the vegetarianism thing, and here's my deal. Man! I accept my biological role as an omnivore. And as far as environmental and... Oh yeah, that looks done in there. Sure. Uh, and as far as environmental concerns go, and globally, I feel like it's actually more helpful to maybe try and buy local meat or, you know, that kind of thing than to just stop. So I don't have any reason to be a vegetarian in my mind, so that's why I don't do it. Okay, I'm going to eat this bacon cheddar and turkey and burger, but I'm also gonna make uh, some dip so we can enjoy those fries soon. But I don't, I don't like leaving things, letting them warm. I like to eat them right when they're done, but I also love dip. Yeah, this burger's gonna be good. How about we get a, how about we get a, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> prison cam and normal cam, burger cam. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I stuff in my face. Mm. Yeah. All right. It looked weird and it looked a little burned, but it's fucking good. Right. Let's start out with an easy dip. Yeah! Oh, we're doing great on time. Okay. It's just maple mustard. Now, this calls for a quarter cup mayonnaise, a quarter cup spicy brown mustard, and uh, two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. I'm cutting that all in half. So just a little bit of everything. I just want to make a whittle, a whittle bit. There's an eighth cup of mustard. I need to get some a good scraper deal. And out of my face, you motherfucker. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Oh good. I do have syrup. That would have put that fucking That would have put a kebab on it. Idea. Okay. Olive oil mayonnaise. So, olive oil mayonnaise to me tastes fine and is much less caloric, meaning not as fattening. And it seems, as far as the consistency and everything, it seems fine. So, and then we're gonna do this is maple mustard. So, I did the maple syrup. This is cheap at, well, it's still okay, supposedly 100% pure maple syrup, but it's Target brand because I was there and I don't know. Um, I do like to seek out good syrup. Just like with honey. My problem with uh, good honey is that it crystallizes, but, you know, then you boil some water and then let it sit for a little bit and then you put the stand, the honey jar right in there and let it uh, get all fucking nice. All right, well, there's the maple mustard. So that was easy. You already ate dinner, but it's making you hungry again. Yeah, see, there's a problem there with me having a day job is like, I have to like, if I come home and I cook right away so that I can eat dinner, well, then I'm kind of like crazy and post-work anxiety right when I start. And nobody, that's not good for anybody. I'm kind of mean and I'm all over and I'm too red. 
get a lot of complaints about my red face. People be like, tell that red motherfucker to cool it! Just kidding. But, um... I don't, uh... You know, so then I'm like, well, let's do it later so I have time to chill before. Which is a great idea. But, um... I also, you know, that I'm kind of hungry. Mm. 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 This is a good turkey burger. Bacon. Cheddar. Turkey. Burger. Bacon. Cheddar. Turkey burger. You know what? Says Psychopath. Everybody loves to do the, fat guys are all going to die right now. If we don't say something, if we don't mention their health, they're going to die because they're not thinking about it. They must not ever think about their health because they're fat. They must not even know that health is a thing. They must think they can just eat all the time or they'll die. Guess what? No. I get it. Now, how do you know? My blood pressure is consistently tip fucking top. I get it done all the time for my uh, anxiety meds and stuff, and it's fine. It's always good. Probably the best. I might have the best blood pressure in the whole troop. Who fucking knows? Anyways, I'm good. Just fat. Who cares? I'm going to need some garlic here. Now, I'm going to be grating this garlic. My concern with grating garlic... You meant the red part? No, that's me being a ruddy Irishman. Not really about my blood pressure, just about my dry skin. Um, so, I'm going to grate some garlic. garlic that is great. I'm going to grate this great garlic. Garlic that is great, but it will also be grated. People like different things. So, yeah, maybe moving forward, Zucchini Boys will be a little more into leaning into fan fan service. Timmy's the most famous person for SD. Well, your sentence doesn't make sense grammatically, and you can always look at what you're typing before you hit send. However, I like where you go with that, but I'm also going to shoot a hole through that. So, Tom Brokaw, majorly famous. Um, the gal that, well, now I can't remember her name, so maybe that shoots my own argument in the foot. The lady who played the White Queen in the uh, X-Men films and also uh, was on Mad Men. That actress. She's from South Dakota. Uh, Daisy Duke from Dukes of Hazard. Is Summer Glau from South Dakota? Because that's not who I'm talking about. But uh, Tom Brokaw's an 80-year-old bitch. Well, sure, but... I mean, my, you know... Where is Trevor? What the fuck is this? Oh, a little weirdness, eh? It's just the middle of the garlic. Okay. January Jones. Yes, thank you. Eh, you know what? I'm going to try and protect my knuckles. Let's just do this. Do I know about the crushing technique using the side of the knife? Yes. I just didn't do it. But I do know about it. I just forget to do it all the time. What's up, everybody? Hi, swampy balls. I bet Timmy could beat it out of Daisy Duke in a fight. Have you seen what she looked like? There's no way I would fight her. <laughs> She'd show up and be like, you want to fight? I'd be like, oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. It's like when I met Famke Jansen in person once. I was like, oh, my God. She's like, hi, how you doing? I'm like, hey, thanks, man. Have we made turkey burgers already? We have. Hold on. Hang on. How you doing? There's a bunch of grated garlic. All right. That's going in the boat for the next dip. Sidecar driver's in chat. Sidecar lives down the street from me. Sidecar, how did you and your family do during the, the brief uh, weather-based drama we just had, huh? Oh. Yeah, I would enjoy being choked out by her, maybe. Not going to say anything there. All right. Um, where the fuck did I just put that other recipe I needed? Oh, yeah. Near the hot, still hot grill. No problem. Okay. This is going to be thirded. 
Actually, I could fucking six. Uh, I can't do that math right now. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. I need a third cup. All right. So I'm gonna do third cup of mayo. Who doesn't love this? Oh, yeah. oh. Don't worry, I have more mayonnaise. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. 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 Now you know what it sounds like when I'm, whenever I shit and come at the same time. All right. Which is all the time. It's a condition. Get in there, baby. Oh yeah. Okay. That'll be our mayonnaise get her because we have more mayonnaise to get in a little bit right there oh well yeah well okay. turkey burger <laughs> give me another bowl Chester great reference perfect time to do that sometimes it's just right I even put it in a bowl afterwards oh that's why you said bowl and not bucket you guys are fucking sharp. Thank all of you fans for existing, by the way. We're always happy that you're around. All right, there's a little bit more stuff I got to do here that I forgot about. Lemon juice. So many paper towels today. So I'm thirding the recipe. The regular recipe is one cup mayonnaise, three tablespoons of the sauce that I'm going to put in there, and two tablespoons fresh lemon juice. So I don't know what a third of two tablespoons is, but uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I guess two thirds. But I don't have a third tablespoon. Who fucking measures it that way? So we'll just kind of do what we whatever we think is best. And a little extra. Okay. We do need lemon juice for the other one, too. <laughs> oh, you're right. A third tablespoon. Yeah, but I wanted to... What did I want again? Shit, I just put too much lemon in there. But it's two tablespoons. So if I'm doing a third of two tablespoons, it's two thirds. Okay. So we did it right. I did it right. Someone did it right. Okay. But I could have just done the teaspoons instead of guest. And I didn't, and a uh, piece of shit. But, uh, you know. I probably shouldn't put too much garlic in. Anyways, let's get to the sriracha. Oh! I haven't used this in a while. Is it all gummed up or what? No, it's good. Okay. Come on now. Ooh. I want all of it. I want all of it. I want what I want. I want it now. 
So we got garlic in here and lemon juice, mixed mayonnaise, and sriracha. Oh yeah, tell you something. I wanna make hot sauce. I wanna pee hot sauce. Wish I could pee hot sauce. Hot sauce everywhere and butt stuff in your pussy. Hot stuff up and down and butt stuff in your pussy. Hot stuff. Pork and mint hamburgers with a mozzarella pearl in the middle. Love that. There's a place in San Antonio I ate at once that does a burger patty that is half ground raw uncooked bacon and half ground beef, and then they cook it. Pea hot sauce? Listen, listen. Yeah, no one's here. No one's promising you sense. No one's promising this to make sense, okay? All right, we're only gonna do about a third of this recipe too, so let's just do a little bit more. Timmy making six course meals in here. I am too lazy to microwave this Nutrisystem. Okay, like two weeks ago I was right where you are, and then I, see I got the bug under my ass. South Dakota got that beautiful three or four days of spring, and I started feeling better and started cooking more. Um. Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. I gotta answer this phone. Okay, my daughter called. She was at her mother's who lives out of town. Uh, but they were... So where they... Uh, that town is only about 20 minutes from here or so. But so they were in the path of the storm right after I was. So we had to make sure. I had to make sure she was all right. She's okay. They did see their neighbor's trampoline blow away, which scared her like a big one. You know, so that's pretty crazy. All right, so this one's going to be garlic aioli, which i pretty sure was obvious. Everybody seems to like that with sweet potato fries. Ugh. And I was on the phone with my young child, so I couldn't make the gross sounds for the mayonnaise, so I'm really sorry that we missed that part of it for this. I would have been, like, in trouble if you guys knew I was doing that with a child on the phone, right? That'd be fucking weird. So. I'll leave that sriracha out because I have, I have this feeling it may not be spicy enough. Not for me. Fucking badass. Okay, what all do I need in here? Three garlic cloves. I did one. One cup mayonnaise. I did a third. Half a lemon. I got that much, but we're only... I have lemon juice. We're not going to put that much in. Whatever. See how that tastes. Maybe it's too much. Fuck it. And then one of my favorite dist spices in the whole goddamn world. Where did it go? Smoked paprika. Now this calls for a tablespoon. We're doing a third. And since hold on, hang on, just educated me on that. Well, I knew this. I just forgot it because I'm stupid. Where did I put the teaspoon though? Anyways, um, a teaspoon of smoked paprika. We're just gonna go right over this because I don't really care if I do too much. Okay. Butt stuff in your pussy, bread stuff in your pantry. Are you trying to come up with alternate songs? All right, so here's the dips. We got the dips made. Uh, okay, right now it's 8.38. We have successfully, I have successfully made everything I wanted to make. The rice a thing that I abandoned was just going to be a fun side kind of project because it's just a box of rice a -roni. Normally what you do with rice a is you get the water boiling, and you put it in there, and it cooks rice, and there's also vermicelli in there, kind of pasta. Um, and, you know, they put the seasoning in with it and fine. But I wanted to just, I, I was making that one night along with a pork loin thing, and I wanted to fucking see if I could fancy it up a little bit. So what you do is you saute, you put your Instant Pot on saute mode and melt butter, then you brown the rice and the butter, 
And then you put in a like a cup of water, uh, yeah, one and a half cups of water, and the seasoning packet. Very important to include that. And then you just cook it for 12 minutes, low pressure. Um. That first time I tried it, I forgot to put the seasoning back in. <laughs> it still tasted good. I stirred it in afterwards, though. Someone says, we need more Hollaback Girl songs. I don't even know what got me there. But whatever. Okay. Ugh. Now I've allotted myself an ounce each of baked and fried sweet potatoes. We'll see how many that gives me. I'll do a few more if necessary. That was a little too fucking Dutch angle or whatever. There we go. All right, fried. Oh, they're still pretty damn. Oh, that's still very hot. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. 200 degrees is still hot. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here, folks, first. These seem a little mushy, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. How much is that? That's probably like five ounces. Uh, that's 1.09, so we'll call that good on that. Okay, so these are the fried. Okay, now for the baked, which looks like they, their extra time in the oven made them a little on the fucking toasted side, but whatever. These are the baked. Oh, I didn't do a thing. Okay. That's only a half ounce. Probably gets it to, yep, 102. Okay, cool. I'll probably eat some more when I'm gone. You guys can't see me be a fucking pig. Okay, so now we go back to dip cam. Dip cam, dip cam, you're my dip cam. I can dip you in and then masturbate on the cam. Wait, what? All right, so I guess we have several taste tests to do because we got to taste the sauces and the flies. So... Yes. 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 Uh, let's finish the burger first. All right. This is good. How many beverages tonight, Timmy? We got water and sparkling water. That's all I'm doing, I think. I might have some chocolate almond milk later. Okay, so. Let's try naked first, right? So here's baked sweet potato. Good. And that cornstarchy stuff kind of left like a bit of a powdery coating on it. Don't speak of butt stuff in your pussy. Don't tell me cause it hurts. Good. Here's a fried one. Pretty good. Not as crispy as I would like. I don't think I killed it on either style, but... I think I'm leaning baked. Which I knew I would. But, uh, okay, so I forgot what each one is. 
This is the maple mustard, obviously. Oh my god, that's good. Mmm. What's for dessert? Nothing. Uh, yeah. Very good maple mustard. Mm -mm -mm. That is... Maple mustard to me is similar to peanut butter and chocolate where it's like you just want to have dirty wonderful sex with whoever invented that. You know, good job you, whoever you are. My phone just made a bunch of noises. What did that say? So, uh, for those uh, if anyone just joining us, uh, sweet potato fries, baked version and fried version, and then uh, dips, and I made a turkey burger, and I ate it. Uh, I made it sort of in honor of Trevor, who used to turn the Daft Punk song, Harder, Faster, Stronger, Better, into bacon. Chatter, turkey, burger. So, maybe I was thinking about that. Maybe one bacon cheddar turkey burger. So this is the aioli, this one over here that I'm stirring. So we're going to try that one with a fried sweet potato fry. Yeah, I don't think I fried the fried ones long enough, principal rules. Hmm. That's good. Smoked paprika. Love it. And then here's a sriracha mayo. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Got that spice to it. Love it. Okay. Um. Yeah. So maybe now I can try all the different flavor combos. All right. I think I like the fried ones or the baked ones better. I just they got crispier though. But I don't think I did the. Uh, I don't think I did the, uh, I don't think I fried the fried ones for long enough frying in the fryer. So, um, hold on, someone's asking about. Not being able to type and chat from a browser? Anybody else having that problem? Nutrisystem mac and cheese with turkey sausage. Well, that sounded good. Dedicated to Travis. Yeah, he loved previously prepared foods, but he was cooking a little bit too. You knew how to do it. Okay, let's do this. No? Huh, okay. Is it maybe because you need to log in or something? Oh, I love that sriracha stuff. Well, let's go back to the aioli. Holy! Which one is best? Let me just eat a bunch of different kinds of mayonnaise and peace, Abby Sally. God. Um. They're all good. Mm, I love that smoked paprika, though. Um. Man. Let me try some more. I'm just kidding, buddy. All right. Your chat box is gone unless you go to the emoji section. Try that. Weird. Um. I need to eat a little bit more. <laughs> I hope someone logged in right then. Just me standing here kind of chubby. Being like, I need to eat a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so I made three dipping sauces. First of all... I did two different versions of sweet potato fries. I baked them and I fried them. Uh, fried ones maybe didn't fry long enough. Couldn't really get the batter to stick either. Try it again sometime. Uh, sriracha mayo. Sriracha mayo. Garlic aioli with smoked paprika in it and maple mustard. All excellent. All involved mayonnaise. Pour it into my are areolas. <laughs> Arteries! You can put it in my areolas too, I suppose. Do I have those? Do guys have... I don't men have nipples, but do we have areolas? We do, right? 
I don't, can I show those? I don't know. Anyways, I would say, let me try this one again. Mix all three and see if it's any good. That sounds like a bad idea. Um, God, they're all good. Okay, I think I want to say the garlic aioli is my favorite, but this is a close fucking race. As far as the sweet potato fries go, baked versus fried, I don't think I did it well enough to make an accurate decision. But it's all good. It all tastes good, you know? Um, but it's a tight race with the sauces, and I think I did the sauce as well. They all look fa fantastic. They all taste fantastic. I think the garlic aioli has a slight edge, just a little bit different, you know? Chickpea recipe? I like chickpeas. You know what I should look up how to do? Is the club that whitest kids kind of turned into a good group at pianos where we did a lot of live shows every Sunday for a few years um they were called pianos uh they had a large uh the owners and manager of that restaurant a lot of them were from like Middle East and Israel and stuff and so there was a really good they kind of had a lot of that influence I believe one of their chefs was Israeli too so they had that kind of influence in their cooking and uh they made these nachos that were basically, I forget what they, they might have just called them nachos, but they were not just nachos. Nacho ordinary nachos. Boy, I'm really whipping out the references tonight. Anyways, so they were like nacho chips topped with like chickpeas and spicy, maybe TVP or some other fake meat kind of thing. And I forget what else. They're fucking delicious. Um... I wish I could find a... I bet there's a picture online somewhere. Or maybe I could... I mean, I'm still in touch with some of the old pianos folks. So if I could find the uh, the recipe... It's hard to call it a recipe. You're just throwing a bunch of things together. But if I could find the right uh, list or whatever, assembly instructions to make those kind of nachos, they'd be fucking good. Ever meet Derek Comedy? Oh, yeah. Uh, so the guys from Derek Comedy used to be in a, in the NYU, there was an NYU sketch group, um, you know, why does it start out as a college sketch group too, which meant we we're a college group so anyone could join, and when I first joined the group, there were already like 10, 11 other members, and eventually when we decided to get more serious and stuff, and be like, hey, so here's the deal, we're gonna be super fucking poor for a while, and then get on TV and be slightly not poor, and every, not everybody was into it, so the five of us stay, <laughs> and there you go, but, um... Anyways, uh, so, yeah, we were a college uh, sketch group, and uh, there was a college sketch group at NYU called the Wicked Wicked Hammercats, and so uh, Donald Glover and DC and Dominic uh, were in that group, and then they became Derek Comedy, and then they all, you know, jettison, jettisoned off into their own successes, obviously. And so, yeah, we saw, you know, we would see all those guys around town. DC from Derek Comedy was on the show about a year and a half ago. We made uh, Avgalamino, uh, Greek chicken soup. Um... But yeah, all great dudes. Uh, yeah, when I hosted an open mic, you know, last time I saw Donald in person was at the I hosted this. We hosted this open mic, and he came by and like tried out some stuff. That was fucking years ago, fifteen, fifteen, maybe fourteen years ago, a long time ago. Anyways, uh, but yeah, you know, it's crazy all the different people we would run into in the scene. That then, like later, when I moved away and kind of became a more normal person in South Dakota or wherever. Uh, I would see them in ads or movies and stuff. Be like, wow, I used to drink with that person and that lady. I know her and I know that guy. Hey, we used to hang out. You know, just everybody. <laughs> you know, it was crazy. So, um, it was fun. Yeah, but they were great, great dudes. Isn't that why there's a ton of people in the St. Peter sketch? Yes. The every the old, old St. Peter sketch, which, did that even make it on the show or is that just online? Anyways, that was, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of people in there and they're just the old troop members. All good people and stuff, you know. Most of them very funny. A few people maybe didn't... Had struggle being, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick. Anyway, I get too late. But, um... Anyways, a uh, lot of funny and talented people. I'm still, you know, I still talk to some of them. And we're still friends with some of them. 
A couple of them have other entertainment industry jobs. One of them designs board games. Another guy is uh, some sort of producer for, like, low-budget horror and comedy movies, you know. So, and I think one of them became a cop, maybe? <laughs> so, I don't know. A lot of weird shit going on. One of them, I think, went to school to become, like, a CSI kind of guy, you know? Yeah, I'm going to eat more fries. I think it's really funny uh, uh, someone who used to be associated with the whitest kids, at least, who is a cop. I, it's fun, It's a fun thing to think about. <laughs> Oh, cops aren't fun. It's never fun to think about cops. But it's funny to think about that situation, you know? It is bizarre, right? It's not like we walk around saying a cab all the time, but... A movie, a movie reviewer that I love... That I've mentioned a few times, Outlaw Verd. He recently put up a picture of... I keep wanting to say Jean-Luc Van Damme, which would be a great mashup. But Jean-Claude Van Damme from the movie Time Cop, he had the sweet bullet. And he just wrote A-T-A-B. And uh, I responded to him. Because, listen, don't be a reply guy, but when you have a rapport with someone, it's okay. you know. And I responded with, all time cops are Belgian. Maniac Cop is the only good cop. You know what's badass? I talk about Shudder quite often. I love Shudder. I think they're a great service. So, I don't know if there's a coincidence or not. Because Maniac Cop says... You've never seen the horror movie Maniac Cop. It's, uh, and there's three of them. And I've never seen part three. I should re-watch re the whole trilogy. But, um... Like, it's not just a crazy zombie cop kills people. Like, they say some crazy shit some really relevant, poignant shit about cops. There's one part in the first one where they're interviewing different citizens, and I think it's a black dude that says something like, you know, the cops are just looking for excuses to shoot me. Stuff. You know, so they, they, this was made like 1989, 1990, 91, something like that. Um, pretty cool of them to be putting that out there. Um, but so then the summer that George Floyd was murdered by assholes, and then there were all those protests... Shutter put all three Maniac Cop movies on their service like the first weekend of protests. And I don't, I, it might have been a planned thing because it was like the first weekend of June. And you know, a lot of streaming services put stuff out the first weekend of the month. But um, it was pretty badass either way. It is sad it's still relevant, but uh, also cool that it's still out there to help uh, push, you know, someone who's maybe not there yet in their thinking, uh, push them into it, you know, so. What's this guy, sponsored? No, I just like things and talk about the things that I like. You know what I always forget about? Whenever I watch Happy Gilmore, I forget about that Subway sponsorship part. It's really funny. I would love to be sponsored by Shutter, but I would probably need to do a movie cast or horror-themed cooking. Joe Bob's why I got back into Shutter. No. Too Many Nipples is totally wrong. I'm absolutely not sponsored by South Dakota. Last time I did stand-up here in my hometown, it was when South Dakota was pushing fucking tr stupid trans bathroom laws, trying to force trans people to go in a bathroom of the biological sex they were born with or whatever. However you say it. Whatever. Instead of the bathroom of their gender. That's so stupid. There was nothing to back up any of their claims, but they were trying to push push, you know, it, push it, and a lot of states did. South Dakota was one of the first. Yay! Progress! Uh, anyways, around that time I was doing comedy about it. And I said, uh, that was uh, the last time I did stand-up in my hometown. No, I've done it at an open mic a few times since then, but at that bar, at that particular bar, last time I performed there, I said, who wants to hear jokes about the transgender bathroom bill? And someone went, no! Look, I was threatening to kill their mom. I think I think being sponsored by Subway is a red flag now. Says the account named Real Michael Jackson.
Allegedly. R.I.P. Trevor. Oh, God! Yo, you guys want to see some cool Tupperware? Welcome back to Tupperware, boys. Uh, I have one. I'm using one so it's not there, but so it's like rainbow lids. And you take off the lids. And they're all in there. So I think I need the purple one. Yeah. All right, time to store some fucking dips. Zucchini boys, zucchini boys, yeah, motherfuckers, let's store some dips. Zucchini boys, zucchini boys, yeah, motherfucker, let's sp store some dips. Spore some dips? Gross. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm fucking missing an opportunity here. started listening to like this not even the two best ones but I started listening to the third and fourth Eminem al albums the other day <laughs> Eminem show at Encore and man before that guy took himself too seriously god he was a good rapper good shit anyways here we go oh yeah Dip cam, dip cam. I still don't remember why I started singing Hollow Back Girl earlier. Especially Eminem's album Encore, like that shit is only silly, pretty much. Before that guy got sober, it stopped hitting women. Okay, yes, it's good he stopped hitting women. I don't think musicians should get sober. Fucking ruin Metallica. And like everybody else, what's one music? Look, listen, I know sometimes you need to get sober. I have very good friends who had to get sober in the group. You know that. But uh, musicians, you know, come on. Who's uh, who got? What musician was all fucked up on drugs and then got better? I mean, we broke up because the guy had to stop doing drugs. Then they got back together. I, I assume they have sorted it out. And that it's, they figured out a way for him to not do drugs and still be in Ween. But they haven't made any new new albums, as far as I know. You know? Art takes sacrifice. John Frusciante. Okay, all right. I'll accept that answer. That's a good answer. Well, I, I, think, I think I'm clearly being facetious. If people need to stop doing drugs or drinking for their health, then they should do it. Clearly. But uh, I think the point, the real point is... If you want to make good art, you got to be yourself. And sometimes, some people uh, take away something because of, for health reasons, but it also, sometimes they might take it away for health reasons before they know how to properly replace it in their personality. And so it almost feels like maybe they're, they accidentally took away a part of themselves at the same time, you know? Zach's still Zach after he quit drinking. You know what I mean? Sometimes people, I think, uh, they have to do it, but then I think they, you know, there's, I feel like there's a way, I don't know, then I feel like there's a way to manage it so that you can still feel normal and whole. Maybe I'm completely full of shit here. I don't know. I just know for myself that when it comes to, like, my big vice, food, good thing I have a cooking show, um, that I still have to fucking shoot it down the middle and not just go fucking paleo or some shit. In fact, I used to do a stand-up joke about paleo, which is like, oh, welcome to paleo. All you have to do to put 30 years onto your life is be miserable for 50. You know, it's like, who wants to fucking stop eating cheese? Fucking nerds, that's who. Who says it was the drugs that made them good to begin with, though? Yeah. Ron Jenna, you like Tool. 
but yeah, I mean, who knows? But sometimes maybe it was. Or just what they... The, the person they became on drugs maybe was a great songwriter, and they didn't find... Here, here's maybe a better way to say it instead of all that rambling bullshit. I think when it, when an artist has a lot of substance use going on and is making great art, if they get to the point where they have to quit the substances in order to stay alive or maintain the relationships or whatever, um, I think sometimes they have trouble finding a way to still become that artist they were without the chemicals or whatever. Is it possible? Absolutely. Every single time. Of course it is. But they need to find... I feel like they need to find a way to do it. So I think if, you know, if I were a big old drunk or drug, druggy or whatever, which, you know, I'm lucky that I'm not. It's a food thing for me. Um, finding a way to balance that and still, you know, being healthy but also being who I was, you know? Cheese is the best. Ron Jenna, I know, I'm just being shitty. I don't even know if what I'm saying is good or helpful or a good point at all i'm just talking anyways i think it's time to go away for me <sighs> bye um should we raid somebody we gotta raid somebody there's somebody who i think is still doing drugs fucking bob dylan and his christmas album from like 10 years ago is one of the craziest things that's ever happened so you're encouraging us to do drugs then Dude, have you listened to our album? Yes. <laughs> Not like if it's a problem in your life, but have fun. Be young, have fun, drink heroin. No, don't do heroin. Heroin sucks. I've always been against heroin. Do the good ones, though. Um, What else do I need here? Okay. Let's raid somebody. Oh, God. Andre3000. I don't know if I know his uh, Twitch address. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. I'd say it was a generally successful first Zucchini Boys back. Uh, the turkey burger was ugly as shit, but tasted amazing. The dips were all beautiful and tasted amazing. The fries were fries. Uh, they were good. Listen, sweet potato is a wonderful vegetable. It, like I said earlier, it doesn't fucking need you. It doesn't need any fucking help. It doesn't need oil. It doesn't need salt and pepper and flour on it and cornstarch. It doesn't need any of that shit. Sweet potatoes are great. So they're always gonna taste good, but I don't know if I got the fries right. And when I talk about sweet potatoes, is, sweet potatoes is, is, is power to be delicious all on their own. Here's a fun story about it. When I was into losing weight and stuff, I was really into just turning the oven to like 400 or 425, just throwing a sweet potato in there. That's it. And then waiting until it gets soft, uh, peel it and mush it and mashed sweet potatoes with nothing in it. Maybe a tiny bit of almond milk or butter, but almost nothing in it. And so I made a big batch of nothing but sweet potatoes, mashed sweet potatoes. That was all that was in them. And took them to Thanksgiving. And my mom made her sweet potato recipe, which had brown sugar, tons of butter, marshmallows, you know, uh, pecans, and fucking streusel, like a dessert. It's like coffee cake, sweet potato. And I'm like, Mom, let's see which one gets eaten first at Thanksgiving. Because I'm a fucking moron. And so uh, my daughter and I were eating my uh, mashed sweet potatoes for the next week. And my mom went home with a clean dish. <laughs> so there you go. Lesson learned. But stuff it, you put it. Okay, uh, where did I go? I went to the wrong thing. Well, should we raid raid a channel here? Good night, chat, and specifically Timmy. I like the subtle fuck you to the rest of the chat. I support it. Um, remember we used to read raid can't eat onions all the time, but I don't think I think what happens happened is they used to they stream earlier than I do now, so I can never fucking catch them. Uh, I just tooted. Excuse me. I thought that someone said, come back soon, you make my day. But right now the chat is kind of uh, grayed out while I'm looking at the raid box. So I said, it said, come back soon, you make me dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please raid Ponce. Okay, what's that? Let's check it out. Ponce. Core, they're playing Core Keeper. What is that?
Florist of Wires. We, we, we raid him all the time. I think I just raided him not that long ago. It's humid out. Being dry as electro. Yeah, I'm fucking humid and disgusting. Yeah, let's raid this person. Pawn. Someone asked me to raid it. Let's raid it. They are playing whatever this is. All right. Everybody be nice to the rando. Uh, and, you know, be young, have fun. Don't do too many drugs. And if you need to stop doing drugs and drinking, then you should. You know, but just try and maintain your creative levels. Try and work through shit and be a better person. I don't know. Don't ever listen to me. Good night.